Hi, my name is Raquel. I am a summer student from the Ericsson lab in the physiology department of the University of Otago. According to the current statistics, one New Zealander is dying from heart disease every 90 minutes, despite the current heart disease medications. This is thought to be due to these medications having adverse side effects in individuals with pre-existing conditions. Such conditions include diabetes mellitus and asthma. To address this issue, the Ericsson lab is looking at an enzyme called CAMK2 as a new potential target for medical treatments. CAMK2 resides in the cells of the heart itself and are involved in supercharging the heart to be faster and stronger and more efficiently in high stress situations. Such situations include exercise, where the heart rate is faster. However, in resting conditions, CAMK2 is inactive and the heart rate is observed to be normal. In heart disease, however, CAMK2 is active even during the resting state, causing the heart rate to be elevated chronically and the diseased heart to work harder all the time, even when you are not exercising. This progresses heart disease faster towards the down spiral of heart failure. The Ericsson lab is currently using a new mouse line with CAMK2 mutated to be overactivated, just like in heart disease. My summer project involves doing echocardiographs or ultrasounds of the hearts of these mice to see the functional effect of having CAMK2 chronically activated on the heart. It is thought that if this mutation causes a change in heart function consistent with heart disease, CAMK2 could essentially be the next target for better heart medication and reduce the death rate of New Zealanders suffering from heart disease.